Good afternoon, boys and girls. We hope that you had a wonderful lunch, restful, quiet time, that you enjoyed dancing in your room with violin. And now you're ready for another reading because I'm home and I found so many books about plants. Where can we find plants? So I want to share all these beautiful readings with you. Okay. So today we're going to have two readings. And this one is Plants on a Farm. We were talking about where can you find plants and flowers. So you'll see them on farm. And this one is also uh, another informational book because it has beautiful pictures and it tells you where can you find them. And there's one author. And, and she's Nancy Dickman. And she's the author who wrote the story, well, the informational text. And she took the pictures. That's right, pictures. It's beautiful pictures here. Let's go and see. It says, what is a farm? Hmm. What is a farm, boys and girls? What is a farm? That's right. It has animals. That's right. Yes, and it also has plants and it has many different things. So let's see. A farm is a place where food is grown. That's right. It's where you find food and you can grow a farm. But you know, boys and girls, you could plant things at home too. You saw Miss Jeanette planted um, the lettuce, the ring lettuce, I show you, right? Yesterday. So you could do the same thing. If you're able to do it, you could do it with your family members. You could plant so many things. Tomatoes, uh, carrots, potatoes. You could do so many things. Oh, Miss Jeanette's favorite. Plants that grow on a farm are called crops. Look at the beautiful colors the pumpkin has. Yes, four colors like Miss Jeanette loves pumpkins. Yes, you use it for Halloween too, but we could use it for yummy, yummy pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. Love beautiful picture. And they grow right there. They pick them up like a little vine. And a vine, you're going to see a vine later on. It goes like this all together. It doesn't grow like that, like a plant. It goes like this. Wait. <clears throat> Plants for food. Wheat grow on a farm. What kind of food do you think you eat with wheat? When we always say whole grain food and whole wheat fruit, that's what we mean. Like cereal, they could make it with this. Cereal, some pancakes, pasta, bread. It's very important because it comes straight from the plants. Rice grows on a farm. Look at the way they grow rice. Yeah, it's very watery in there, very hard. This is a very hard work. And then you have yummy, yummy rice. See how it works? That's why you have to eat all your rice because it's very hard to pick those rice. It's, it's like little seeds. It's very important that you eat it. It's a very hard work. When you work on a farm, it's very hard. So we got to be thankful, grateful, and eat all our food. Some farms grow vegetables. You could grow vegetables. These beans, you could grow them at home. I remember last year, Jamil Angel and Miss Jeanette grew uh, beans like this in my garden. Like, you see the beans right here? here right now you cannot see them because we still have to clean it's still a little cold outside and they but the, that's why i put the romaine lettuce inside because it's still warm inside but when it gets warmer outside i could plant them outside you could grow beans also you could have your little garden even inside cabbages grow on a farm look at cabbages you could grow that at home too if you wish if you're able, and cabbages are like lettuce, it's just a little hotter. 
Potatoes grow on a farm. Mmm, Miss Jeanette loves potatoes. And we're going to talk about that tomorrow because the way they grow is very interesting, the potatoes. That's right. We're going to talk about it tomorrow, the potatoes. And you could grow potatoes too if you wish. Again, boys and girls, it's very hard to work in a farm, so you have to eat your food. Okay, vegetables. Carrots grow on a farm. I grew carrots last year. And we were picking them. And we're going to talk about how carrots grow because it's very also uh, interesting the way they grow. Potatoes and carrots. Very interesting. Because they grow... Under, you see, some farms grow fruit. What kind of fruits are these? Strawberries, that's right. And strawberries are yummy, yummy fruits. And they grow, you know how? In a vine like that. The leaves go like that. They don't grow like this. They grow like this, a vine. If you see closely, you're going to see that they all look like a wave. They don't, they're not growing from bottom to top. They own a vine. If later I go outside and I see in my backyard some kind of vine growing, I will show you. Apples grow on a farm. And apples grow on a tree, right? They go like this. Not a tree. I don't have an apple tree, but I think I'm going to plant an apple tree. It's a good idea. Who likes apples? How many kind of apples do you think they are? Yeah, the green ones. The granny, the cool granny. They're a little sour. And the red ones are sweeter. And then you have the yellow ones that are between sweet and, and sour. And um, I think that's it. Enjoy your apples. Plants for clothes and fuel. You see, plants help us. Remember you said we were talking about how plants help us? For fuel, to put gas, cars, and other kinds, and clothing. How they use for clothing. Kinds grow on a farm. You see all those white things? They are not snow. That's the little plant that has cotton. I have a little friend in Puerto Rico who grows cotton. And if I could get a picture of some of the things that she's doing, I will show you the pictures. Those are cotton. And then you put in a special machine and you can make clothes. But not all the clothes are made with cotton. Clo cotton is used to make clothes. And I hope that you're helping mommies and daddies to fold clothes too. Because you could do that. You're big boys and girls. And you're strong. You're not babies anymore. Corn grows on a farm. Look, that's an ear. How many corns do you see? So that's right. One and two. Who loves corn? You know, I love the cornbread. I love cornbread. Oh my goodness, so so good. Some corn is used to make fuel for cars. Look at that. Yeah, that's like the tow truck guy, Lewis, putting gas in the car. Oh, Miss Jeanette, or your mommies, or your daddies, or your any family members. Planting crops. Most crops are planted in the spring, and now we in spring. That's why Miss Jeanette planted the um ah uh, the letter romaine lettuce. <laughs> it went psh, away. Yes, that's why I planted romaine lettuce. They are planting them, you see? And that's very hard work, too. The plants need water and sunshine to grow. Remember we were talking about that? Plants need water and sunshine to grow. Picking crops. Crops are usually picked in the fall. 
and you go apple picking. I hope you could go apple picking this year. We didn't go apple picking last year, but I hope that we could go this year. We can buy the food grow on farms. Also, the farms sell the food that they pick, right? And you could buy them fresh there. You had to wash them very good, too. She's in a farm, and they are buying food. Can you remember what do plants need to grow, boys and girls? What do plants need to grow? That's right. Water, sun, air, and lots and lots of loves. I hope you enjoy this beautiful book on plants on the farm. And I hope that you could go to a farm. Let's see how can we do that. Okay. Enjoy BB Max.